Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video I am going to show you few of the tips and tricks and hidden features of Nokia 7 Plus and Nokia 6.1 Android smartphone. So let's just start it. So I'm going to show all of these tips and tricks on Nokia 7 Plus but you can use them on Nokia 6.1 as well because both of them are exactly same in terms of features and settings. And if you go to the app drawer then go to the settings and scroll down and go to the accessibility here you will find lots of interesting options. So first of all if you would like to listen whatever activity is happening on the screen then go to talkback and just switch it on and here you will find more detail about the feature that how to turn it on and turn it off so I'm just going to show you this option quickly so just tap on this slider and here it will show you this message that talkback needs to do all of this thing to work properly tap on ok so this is how exactly talkback will work it will tell you whatever is happening on the screen whatever you are touching what command you are giving so this is a very useful feature I'm just turning it off right now you notice that when I tapped on turn back off it already said that turn back off so this is how exactly it works and then here you will find some options to modify your display if you type on font size here you can select the font size larger or largest you can get live demo of the text size here as well in the preview you can see the small default large and largest it's totally up to you which one you would like to select so I'm going to select the default one after that there is display size if you tap on this once again you can select the display size and basically it will make the item on your screen smaller or larger so once again you can get the preview you can see everything is getting bigger whatever I got on the screen even the notification bar everything is getting bigger and bigger so this is how exactly it works and then next option is magnification if you go here then you will find two options magnify with triple tap magnify with button so you can select depending on your requirement I'm going to select the magnify with triple tap what you will have to do quick tap the screen three times drag two or more fingers to scroll pinch two or more fingers to adjust zoom so here we go so it's zoomed in now I can use two fingers to zoom in zoom out as you can see here and two fingers to move around the screen so this is how it works exactly so this is a very nice feature and if you want to just zoom out once again tap three times and everything will be normal but you need to turn it on first to use this magnification feature and you can also use it with button as well instead of triple tap it's totally up to you which one you find convenient and then there is the option for color correction if you want you can use it you will find three options here depending on your requirement and color preference you can use it and then there is color inversion this feature is really good if you want to save your battery because what it does it inverts the color and it will make your screen look darker the problem here is that everything will be inverted so you can see that the wallpaper is inverted as well if I go to add drawer add drawer will be a bit white because every color is inverted exactly so it is good and it is bad as well so it's totally up to you whether you would like it or not if you are spending time a lot in the white background application then if you turn it on then the background will be black and it will save some battery but if not then this feature is not so useful and then there are some more options and features available for you one nice option is about the power button that if you select this option if you turn it on then when you are talking if you just press the power key the call will be ended so this is also a very nice feature and then again you can select the mono audio if you do not like the studio audio then you can just tap on this and turn it on it's totally up to you once again and then there is high contrast text this is an experimental feature if you tap on this then the contrast is increased you can see especially the titles of the section they are very highlighted now let me give you the difference so you can see that what exactly high contrast text does so 
these are few of the accessibility settings and features that you can use on your Nokia 7 Plus and Nokia 6.1 to improve your productivity. And then if you go to the settings, here you will find some more options. For example, if you go to the gesture, here you will find five options. So the very first one is turn over to reject call. So what exactly it does, if you tap here, it will also give you a demo. So when a phone call is coming and you put the device with screen down, after turning it on, then the call will be rejected. So this is one of the gesture setting. It's written here as well. When a phone call comes in, turn phone over to reject call. So all you have to do, put your phone down, screen down like this and phone call will be rejected. But make sure that the screen is not going to get some scratches from the surface. Second one is mute on pickup. So when your phone is ringing and you take your phone from the desk, then the ring sound will disappear, it will be mute. The logic behind is this that now the device got your attention that the phone is ringing, you have picked it up so no need to keep ringing. So that's why it will mute. So all you have to do is just tap on the slider, it's turned on and when there is a call, you can just pick up from the desk or table and then the call will be mute. And third one is swipe fingerprint for notification. So what exactly it does that if you put your first of all you need to turn it on and if you put your finger on the fingerprint sensor and swipe it down then the notification bar will appear on the screen like this and if you swipe it up then it will go up so this is a useful feature to quickly access the notification and hide it as well so this is the option number three swipe fingerprint for notification and the fourth one is jump to camera. So if you turn it on, what exactly it does? If you press the power key twice quickly, then the camera application will be launched and it works from any screen. So if I just press the power key twice quickly like this, then camera is launched as you can see here. And as it says, it works from any screen. So this is also a very nice feature to quickly access the camera application doesn't matter on which screen you are you don't have to exit go to the home screen and launch the camera you just need to press the power key twice and camera application will be launched so this is the option number four under the gesture settings and the fifth one is lift to check phone and this is related to the always on screen or the glance screen so if it is turned on and your phone is on the desk or table or bed and if you just take it the glance screen will show the notification on your Nokia 7 plus or Nokia 6.1 so if I just keep it like this here and then take it from the desk so you can see now it is showing the time notification date calendar etc so this is how this feature works exactly so these are the five gesture settings that you will find on your Nokia 7 Plus and Nokia 6.1 2018 to improve your productivity while using the devices. And if you go to the settings, go to the storage, here you will find an option called storage manager. By default it is turned off, if you turn it on, then it will show you this message, your storage is now being managed by storage manager, tap on ok, and then tap on storage manager once again. So what exactly it does is that it removes photo and videos that are more than 90 days old, you can select it as 30, 60 and 90 is totally up to you. Once an image or video is older than 30 days, 60 days and 90 days, then it will be automatically deleted and your storage will be increased. So this is what exactly it does. It's totally up to you whether you would like to use this feature or not. And if you go to the display settings and then you will find an option called night light. If you tap on this, then it will show you the option, turn on the night light, turn on at custom time or from sunset to sunrise. You can select it what exactly it does if you turn it on the screen will turn a bit yellowish so the blue light will disappear and it will help you in using the smartphone during the low light situation and at night without putting a strain on your eyes so once again you can select it to be scheduled at a particular time or from sunset to sunrise or you can just manually turn it on and you can even select the intensity of the yellow light or blue light 
while using the night light feature so this is a very useful feature as well especially if you use your smartphone at night in dark scenario a lot and then if you go to the advanced section and scroll down here you will find an option called double tap to wake what exactly it does if you turn it on then it will wake the device if you just double tap on it so for example if the device is locked if i just double tap the screen will be wake since i'm using the password fingerprint data you will have to enter the pin or password if you're using any security so let me show you this on our nokia 6.1 just go to the settings, go to display, go to advanced, go to double tap to wake, it's turned on. And you can just swipe it and use the device right now. So this is also a very nice and interesting and also a productive feature on your Nokia 6.1 or Nokia 7 Plus Android smartphones. And once again, you can use the font size and display size option from the display setting as well. Then there is option of screen saver you can select what you would like in your current screensaver. You can customize the style as digital or analog or you can turn on the night mode as well and you can use it when you want the screensaver to be activated while charging, dogged while charging or talked or never at all. And if you tap on current screensaver, you can once again select what kind of screensaver you want with a clock, colors, picture frame, photo table and depending on your choice, once again here you will get some settings. So you can see that now I can select the pictures for photo frame option here. So this is totally up to you what you would like in your screen saver while the device is charging or docked. Another nice feature of Nokia 7 Plus and 6.1 is the ambient display, the glance screen that was coming on my Nokia 7 Plus. So if you go to the ambient display settings here you will find an option called lift to check phone that we have seen under the gesture options as well. A new option here is the new notification. If you turn it on what it does whenever there is a new notification the ambient display the glance screen will turn on and it will show you summary of the notification. So if you want you can just turn it on or turn it off it's totally up to you as well. And this is how you can customize the settings of your ambient display or glance screen or the always on the screen. So that's all for now friends, thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and handsome videos like this. I'll see you guys next time in another video, have a nice day.